The highly anticipated second trailer for Captain Marvel gave fans a closer look at Brie Larson as Carol Danvers and her fabulous, occasionally mohawked superhero alter ego, Captain Marvel, even more eye-patchless Nick Fury, and teased an awesome-looking space battle sequence. There was a lot to love in the newest sneak peek, but one clip does a bit more heavy lifting than the rest, solving a minor MCU mystery. We know that Captain Marvel tells Carol Danvers' origin story, and to do that without making even more of a mess out of the existing Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline, directors Anna Fleck and Ryan Bowden are rolling the clock back 23 years and introducing the hero in 1995. It's an exciting choice, but it was also somewhat confusing since Carol Danvers is also lined up to appear in Avengers 4, which is set in the here and now. If Captain Marvel is set more than 20 years prior to the events of the Infinity War sequel, wouldn't that mean she would be middle-aged by the time she shows up in the forthcoming film? And if she isn't pushing 50 in Avengers 4 and does appear in the film in the same youthful form that she does in her solo movie, which is the most likely outcome, does that signal time travel is to thank for her involvement? That doesn't appear to be the case. The newest trailer appears to reveal the real reason for Carol's perpetually youthful appearance. It's the result of the accident that left her human body imbued with DNA from the alien race known as the Kree, first introduced in the MCU in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Guardians of the Galaxy. In the trailer, we see Annette Benning appear as an unnamed mystery character who explains to Carol her Kree origins, telling her that the Kree rescued her when she was in trouble and couldn't remember who she was. We made you one of us. So you could live longer, stronger, superior. To the average watcher, those lines might not hold much weight. Yeah, of course Captain Marvel is physically powerful and superior to humans whose DNA isn't comprised of half Kree genetics. That's the kind of stuff that makes superheroes superheroes. But this clip implies that Carol will outlive regular humans and will age at a significantly slower rate, perhaps explaining why she will barely have gotten any older between the time of her accident in Captain Marvel and when she heads back to Earth in Avengers 4. Marvel diehards probably already knew all of this. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., just for one example, addresses the phenomenal longevity of the Kree, but more casual Marvel moviegoers were likely confused before this revelation. Someone who will feel the effects of time, however, is Nick Fury. Marvel digitally de-aged Samuel L. Jackson's character for the entirety of Captain Marvel, but he'll be his old self again, literally, in time for Avengers 4. By the time Nick pages Carol for backup in the post credit scene in Infinity War, he's sporting some wrinkles and his signature patch over his eye. Even with this plot hole clearing, there's still much about Captain Marvel fans have yet to discover. Like, what's up with Goose the Cat? Is Pulp Fiction available at that blockbuster, making this a last action hero situation? No! It isn't possible! What's not possible? He's fantastic. Who is Annette Benning playing, and will she ever run into Michael Douglas in the MCU, giving American president fans the reunion they crave? Does Carol smack down any other suspicious septuagenarians or just Subway Lady? So many questions. The good news is that fans won't have to wait too much longer for answers. Captain Marvel soars into theaters on March 8, 2019.